Now, when a child's in hospital, it can be really hard to try and come up with ways to comfort them, to keep them occupied. And the author, Fionn Jones, decided to send personalised stories to sick children in hospital during lockdown. I Give You the Moon was inspired by the true story of a little boy from Bolton, Baran Akaka, who had a brain tumour from the age of two and tragically passed away when he was eight years old. But his family shared his story on social media where Fionn saw it and decided that she wanted to do something to help. Make a difference. BBC Radio Manchester. So I followed Baron's journey on Facebook, which is a Facebook page that his mum Annabelle set up. And I run a project called Fly Me Stories. And I sent Baron and his sister Layla a story, a personalised story, and therefore distraction and comfort. Um, and he had that story the night he passed away. He had it as a bedtime story. Mm -hmm. And Annabelle sent me such a lovely message saying, you know, how they would treasure it and how it had made, made such a difference, which is what the project's all about, really. So I wanted to write a, a, a special story where Baron and Layla are in, are in the same story. It's kind of a celebration of sibling love that carries on no matter what so it, it i wrote it for you know for really for layla and for the family so that they can read it again and again and it's and it's kind of a happy magical story about how when you love someone that doesn't end when someone um isn't with you so this inspired your book i give you the moon is that right yeah so that's right so i wrote the the book for them really so in the story the character baron he wants to show Layla how much he loves her. And you see in the Facebook on Baron's journey how much their love just springs from the page. So he he gets a special gift um, involving the moon um, and other things, and he gives her the moon. And she says, you know, you don't need to give me anything to show me your love because your love is part of me for always. Um, and really that was the message I wanted to get across in the in the picture book. You set up an enterprise to send these personalised stories to children who are unwell. So, so how does it work, Fionn? So, Fly Me Stories, I set it up during COVID, actually. So I got the idea when I was in hospital with my daughter. And because we were in isolation, you can't use the playroom. And during COVID, the playroom and books that would normally be available aren't available to, to patients. So I send them personalised, magical, they're kind of adventure stories as a distraction and comfort. So it's based on a kind of principle of, it's called narrative transportation, where you kind of, you read a story and you're transported to somewhere else. So for, you know, for five minutes, they don't think they're in the hospital room. They go on these magical adventures. And so that's why, that's how I met Baron and Layla through, through that project. And I've met lots and lots of amazing families. Great Ormond Street, they piloted it and it's in lots of hospitals now. Um, and charities and so, so how, how does it work Do, are you approached by perhaps parents yeah, yeah. so it, it works both ways so we're in the hospital so like in great ormond street we're on the hospital portals so patients can just email me and then i send them personalized stories or things like um i follow baron's journey on facebook so i approach them um, other families approach us so we get lots of requests um, you know children might be sick at home and uh, people might be in hospital for a prolonged period so then then they approach us if anyone knows someone who has someone who has lots of trips to hospital or is in a hospice then we send the the pdfs of the stories out to them amazing idea it's bbc.co.uk slash make a difference for more